so i welcome you all to another episode of uh, explore with dev and today we have a very special guest and i have a very talented friend of mine surya with us so hey surya hello dev how are you yep i am doing good so let me introduce very shortly i would like to give a very brief background of who surya is so surya is currently uh, he is doing his job as a data scientist and he is one of the very few people that i know who have made a very incredible transition from basically a non cs background a non computer background to data science and he is currently pursuing his mtech and today uh, the main intent of the video what is all going to be about uh, i will like surya to explain more on that and yeah we can then proceed again so on to you surya okay so as devnint introduced me so I was basically from electrical background so i made my transition to a data science and uh, it was not a easy ride like a main transition i have done was from uh, pursuing mtech where i got the opportunity to learn machine learning and all that stuff python i introduced with python numpy pandas what all are required and side by side i also learned tableau so uh, basically one of the project which i am uh, making in my final year of mtech and uh, that is earthquake prediction so this prediction has not been yet uh, done in the internet or i haven't found anything any material regarding this in the internet so i thought that i can give it a try because it is a natural calamity and uh, apart from that all the findings and everything is going on research work is going on in this field so that it can be improved or government should take any initial measure to improve or reduce the effect which are causing this natural calamity so i can start the uh, screen sharing yeah. yeah so yeah sure so yeah okay so guys we are going to begin and i think like we are going to have a quite interactive session so yeah so here i will uh, here i will explain in uh, brief what i have done first uh, i have studied the trend what was uh, going on since it was uh, having i think 23 to 25 features i'm not going to disclose the data right now and because uh, my final year project and paper publication is also going to be held for this so here uh, you can see that uh, uh, the data updated is for 20000 uh, 2013 to 2018 and data is very imbalanced you can see that for 2013 only 33 uh, 33 data points are there and for 2014 uh, 3000 data points are there so obviously uh, as we know that more the data more will be the result you can expect so here you can see that f1 score is coming 96% and uh, here it is 58% so basically as the data is more result is also Uh, uh result also improves so here accuracy i am ge- getting 88% and uh, you can see that it is very imbalanced data is very imbalanced for this classification problem here it is 33 and here it is 3000 so uh, i have i thought to do the smart process or adassing process i basically prefer smart so that uh, i can do the over sampling of the data so this is the confusion matrix which i have prepared for that you can for confusion matrix as we all know that we can go with the diagonal points so so after after doing over sampling the accuracy reduced by 1% but that doesn't matter here we have improved the uh, f1 score you can see the 61% 96% so basically <clears throat> done the classification problem uh, taking exibus classification so uh, based my aim is to predict the model so uh, uh, as we know that for prediction uh, we mostly switch to regression or something which has the continuous value here i have taken year as my uh, output variable there i am taking magnitude as my output variable and i am predicting the latitude longitude or the upcoming years for that so i will show you that also uh, here i have basically one second yes here i have done the exibus regression and believe me guys uh, i have performed each and every algorithm i have also tried artificial neural network but this performance is getting the highest result at the data point is also less uh, because it, it is india data set and you can see the records are very low so having a 70% uh, accuracy is also a, a good accuracy so uh, here having i have i have 70% uh, 70% accuracy coming to the tableau so this is my prediction analysis you can see here so you can see that for 2021 see this magnitude it is coming uh, 6.7 and whereas longitude it's 71.03 and uh, uh, latitude is 36.51 coming to the prediction analysis you can see that for 2021 the magnitude is coming around 
uh, and longitude is 71.03 uh, whereas latitude is 36.51 for 6.7 magnitude and it is predicting uh, 2021 so this is a good uh, this is a i think this is a uh, relevant analysis as model was also showing 70% of accuracy so for map analysis i will also show the map analysis which i have done so this is the map analysis here you can see that the dark blue points are, are the more prone areas where the earthquake might happen so uh, this is the more prone areas you can see that uh, majority and this prediction i have also done was around 70 to uh, 70 long and uh, 36 flat it was basically that region only so uh, this was the my this was my prediction as of now that in 2021 uh, 35 long uh, 35 latitude and uh, 70 longitude will be the most prone area for the earthquake and which my model also predicted that uh, 6.7 magnitude will strike at around this latitude and longitude let's move to the google the first news was uh, first i saw that uh, what are the earthquake uh, what are the years or what are the upcoming earthquake i searched for that or what are the earthquake that happened in 2021 i got to know that uh, earthquake of magnitude 6.3 have been uh, struck at pakistan uh, at around uh, february 12 or february 13 it was reported at february 13 for the hindu newspaper and it was updated around uh, 13 february that earthquake of magnitude 6.3 has been reported in Taj, uh, tajikistan so uh, i searched the pakistan uh, latitude and longitude that also i will show you what was the result for that one second yeah, just go to the tab uh, beside that yes 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 so the tajikistan uh, tajikistan latitude and longitude is around 38.8 uh, 38. Eight uh, latitude and seventy one point two longitude. So guys, yes. uh, I will just tell you the best thing about this. Even from the map, if you see, this is near Afghanistan and Tajikistan uh, particular area only, where that uh, whole like blue color of density is coming up. And uh, the best part about this project, from what I like, from what we saw was like uh, Surya, if possible, can you tell me when did you complete this project? Uh, i completed in i think november or starting of november i have completed this project yeah so and the guys, i was so the, main yeah. so the best thing is guys like in november he completed the project and uh, in february in a real time way in the newspaper it came like in hindu news like you know uh, at february 13 that particular earthquake did happen at the exact area so that is a commendable job because what he did Uh, is actually a part of a research, and this uh, like this can go even way ahead from even what I believe. Because if you see, he did predict it, and this like he is saying, this is going to be the first project uh, like in case of uh, prediction analysis, right? Uh, because still now in IoT yes. only this has yes. happened. Yes. Yes, yes. Devni. So uh, I think that uh, if I get approval or if uh, I can. i can present a paper or uh, if my paper is going to be published i triple e so if uh, that happen then i will definitely uh, go for world prediction because in world prediction the data set will be also large so i will get more chance to uh, uh, predict more accurately here you can see that data set is less so uh, accuracy is also coming 70% so what minor error which was which i was getting in my uh, magnitude like that from 6.3 to 6.7 so that will be also minimized if i will work with uh, larger data set so next target is that i will be going to uh, perform my data analysis or data science project in this uh, world data so let's see what happen guys yeah uh, and surya also just just to know also a bit more like yeah uh, what were the major challenges that you faced in this project okay and like uh, what did you feel yes. like was something that you can improve also going ahead yes sir Yes, yes, yes. The see the first challenge, as I said, that data set was less. So the first when I performed the task, I started performing this task. The first thing I thought that I can use simply use multilinear regression. That will be a good option. But believe me, when I use multilinear regression, I got eight percent of accuracy. Eight okay. percent of accuracy. So from eight percent to seventy percent, how I have done, what I have performed, that was the first challenge I have faced. and uh, second challenge was uh, as we know that uh, research is still going on what are the factors affecting this earthquake so definitely 23 features for uh, less data set is not a good uh, 
good ratio i can say so features are also less features are also discovering day by day as scientists are also uh, uh, working on this so these are the concern because natural calamity as you know it is not easy to predict so uh, it has been predicted what i have given the data so if i get a particular uh, particular updated data i can perform much better so these all challenges were were uh, ahead me when i was going through this project mm -hmm. thank you for sharing that with us surya so like you know okay. uh, like just coming to the data science background he has done a great job and he has finally done a quite a good research which is finally going to be published and i think like yes it will gain a lot of success so firstly i would like to congratulate you surya for all your contribution Thanks, and Dave. hard work yeah Thanks, and Dave. yeah and uh, like going ahead also guys let us know if you want such interactive sessions where we can you know interact with people from data data science background uh, as a part of explore with dev and also i promise you like me and surya we personally have decided that we are going to work on some amazing projects going ahead some good collaboration between rpa and uh, data science and as you data know data science yes exactly as you know i am working in rpa domain and surya is from the data science domain so we are going to do some projects where we are going to combine both of them because that is the next stage of where the intelligent automation goes and where the future of ai lies so yeah stay tuned to that so we will be back with more contents uh, i would again like to thank you surya for being a part of today's session okay sure. thanks for uh, thanks for this valuable time if you liked uh, this particular session do uh, like comment and subscribe to the channel and please post in the comments that what you want to see going ahead so that we can deliver those contents to you